Hello YouTube, this is Robert Ness 816. This is another Traxxas suspension tuning video. So this one is going to focus on the Traxxas Max and uh, this is a V1, but this will apply to the uh, V2 Max as well. So one of the issues that the Max has is rear suspension droop. There is not enough of it. And what that causes is the back end of the truck to bounce off of landings. If you ever look at videos of how the Max lands, it does kind of land a little bit weird. I'm going to burp right now. Oop, never mind. thought I had to burp. Did not burp. That was random. I'm not going to cut it out because I don't care. So anyway, one of the issues with the Max is that when it lands, it bounces a bit in the back. And, uh, well, not a bit, a lot. Uh, there it is. There's the burp. And that is because when these trucks come from the factory, the rear suspension does not have enough droop. So basically, droop is how much the suspension hangs when it is uh, fully extended. So this one is a bit more than stock and it has the new Max Slash rear suspension or uh, I think they were called uh, lower shock mounts or whatever the freak Traxxas calls them. But basically what they do is they fit on top of the rear suspension arm and basically this makes it seem like your shock is a bit longer. So really, these trucks should have longer rear shocks, but instead Traxxas did this. So like I could do the more expensive route and do um, maybe sledge front shocks if they're longer or rear shocks, which I know are longer. The issue there is that I don't know how long the shocks are and I'm not going to spend, you know, 50 or 60 dollars just to find out that they're too long. And that they overextend these axles because if you put these on too much of an angle, then you will run into issues with these axles breaking. Same thing with if you do dog bones and you put them on too much of an angle. So basically what these pieces do is they push the uh, rear suspension down a bit more and this gives you more travel. So most of your 110 scale RCs are going to have, or most RCs in general, are going to have more rear droop than front droop. And you can see right here that I have more rear droop than front droop. So when these trucks land, like I said, they land kind of weird because what happens is, is the truck, when it lands, it will kind of do this it will bottom out which most RCs do but the thing is with the max is that when it does it because it doesn't have a lot of droop in the back from the factory it will kind of bottom out and the back end will slap up in the air so by adding more suspension travel you are absorbing more of that uh, force before the truck actually bottoms out so if you try to stop the max from bottoming out then you pretty much turn it into a pogo stick and it will basically it won't bottom out but it'll still uh, bounce and that will create an issue with putting too much load on the shock towers on the bulkhead you'll end up breaking things so these trucks are designed to bottom out and um, preventing them from doing that we'll just put the forces elsewhere and we'll break things so that's just how it is. But by adding more droop to the rear suspension, though, when it lands, the wheels will catch and you will have more uh, room for the suspension to basically absorb your jumps. Now, this also does have another added benefit where the Max will now turn in better. So it will turn uh, a little bit more neutral now, too. And uh, basically, your rear wheel will, uh, won't be able to lift as much now, too, because when the truck corners... The weight gets transferred to the front as it does in any RC, so it will get transferred to the front, except now your back end will be able to stay on the ground instead of going up in the air too. So you've got that extra added benefit. Now also, as far as these uh, extension pieces preventing the suspension from bottoming out like it normally would, you can see that it actually doesn't have any issues with bottoming out. 
as you can see it still hits the ground and I even have a little bit of room for the shock to come up a bit too so you can see that it's not fully compressing either so the suspension is still able to bottom out so perfectly executed there as far as something that should have been on this truck from the factory to be honest with you uh, realistically it should have had longer rear shocks and shock bodies to accommodate for that but i guess that's something that tracks is kind of glossed over for some reason um, anyways the part number is 10234 i got them online i paid eight bucks for them they're probably going to be cheaper if you go to a hobby shop and buy them and uh yeah so basically that's it um also other things i've done too is aluminum fans for the esc and the speed controller these are uh, eco power fans 32 now 35 millimeter fans i've had these for about two years now and they've been perfectly fine i did the uh what was it the stock x max servo what is this one the 2085 servo as opposed to the 2090 servo so basically this servo is faster and a little bit more powerful um, you can buy these on ebay from parted out trucks i think they're like 30 bucks or something like that or maybe 40 i'm thinking 30 though i don't remember but it's definitely a, a cheap upgrade you know it still works with tsm obviously so basically it's faster and more powerful it's a good fit for the, the max um you can, of course, upgrade these with metal gears if you want, which you can't really do with the 2090. Um, and, of course, you can also run the aluminum belt crank uh, if you want to after you upgrade to the uh, aluminum gears in these. But basically, I'm running the stock belt crank and the regular gears that come with these servos, and I haven't had any issues with this thing whatsoever. So, again, it's faster and it's more powerful than stock. Um yeah, so just some little tidbits that I've done to my Mac. So this is a V1. I have not had to replace the speed control, the motor, or anything like that because I have basically upgraded these fans from stock because the original ones tend to break very easily. And when they do that, your speed control and your motor runs hot and, you know, that leads to issues. Um, and yeah, I've changed the... Uh, connector to the xt90 i did that out of the box because i don't run traxxas batteries but anyways getting off topic here so yeah if you want a cheap way to drastically improve the jumping and landing performance of your traxxas max for super cheap then definitely look into these suspension extension pieces here uh, bottom shock mounts i think is what they're called again it's uh, 10234. You do need to modify them with a Dremel tool. So when you get them, they're going to have a slight U-shape to them. Basically, you take your Dremel and you just cut off that U-shape and they will fit. So you can see what I did here. There's also on the other side, there are um, little areas that you need to trim off as well. So basically... Just picture this as being the other side. You need to pretty much make it follow the shape on the other side. Otherwise, it will stick up a bit and you won't be able to get a uh, perfect fit. So, if you're good with a Dremel tool, this part will take maybe 5-10 minutes tops to, to get it installed and you'll be good after that. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Leave a comment.